Um, uh, that was a good win for for them. Um, you know, they did a good job you know, throughout the course of the game. Um, you know, for 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 us and our team, you know, I'm just extremely disappointed with the outcome. Extremely disappointed to um, the way we played at times. Um, you know, the things that we work and emphasize. You know, throughout the course of um, of the week, you know, the, the preseason, off season. You know, things that are criti critically important to being successful is not are not showing up. Um, you know, as as consistent as we need them to be. Um, Obviously, offensively today, um, you know, pretty easy to see. It was a very disappointing performance. Um, you know, able to and able to really ever get uh, you know, much going. Uh, your second half, we were able to move the ball, but uh, you had a couple explosive plays. Um, you know, but still had way, you know too many negatives. Uh, you know, they did a good job in the first half with some of their pressure packages, and we had you know. Couple turnovers, um, you know, missed opportunities, um, you know, drop balls, you know, just m mistakes that, that don't allow to uh, to play winning football. And uh, we came out, you know, third quarter, you know, be able to hit, hit a big play, get down, score a touchdown, wherever move the ball, got in the red zone, you know, need to be able to finish. Um, you know, had a, had a mistake, you know, there inside the five that um, that, hurt, that hurt us, and um, you know, obviously. Um, you know, not be able to, to finish there at the end. And, um, you know, I thought the defense had, had good moments. You know, still uh, you know, too many times we're, we're not getting off the field in, in third down situations. We had uh, some, some mistakes. We had some new guys that, you know, really uh, got, you know, tested today just with our with our depth. We had guys that went down, um, you know, on both sides of the ball. We, you know, lost Darius Washington in pregame. So, uh, you know, forced uh, some moving pieces there, um, you know, their um, – you know, within the offensive line, you know, had some linebackers go down. Um, obviously, um, you know, opportunities for guys to, to rise up and, and, you know, seize the moment. And, uh, you know, some guys did. And then, you know, obviously, some guys, we you know, obviously got to make sure that uh, we're doing all the things in our preparation to allow us to go out there and, and play to the level that, that we're capable of playing. And, uh, you know, I, I do believe that um, we're a much better team than what we're showing. So, uh, you know, obviously, it still comes down to, to me being able to get that out of these guys. And for that to show up you're, you're, you're on game day, and um, that's you know, I'm um, you know, just to, uh, disappointed that I've not been able to get get more out of what I believe this team is. And uh, you know, we're going to continue to work at it. Um, you know, I, I believe in, in who we have. I believe in, in what they can do. And uh, you know, but we got to be able to transition what what you know the the positive things that we see out there on the practice field. It's got to come. It's got to be able to translate. You know. Uh, on, on, on the game day. And, um, you know, obviously that's going to be a lot of evaluation, uh, a continued evaluation coming off a of bye week. You know, that's what we did. And I thought we would have a much better performance um, than what we did here here today. Um, you know, I, I think all three phases had uh, had moments of just, you know, not not looking like and not playing like the, the way that we're capable of. So, good questions. All right, first one will be Chris Nee, second row here, right? Mike, how do you do things differently or approach things differently to get the results that you expect from the practice that you're not getting translating to games well, I mean, right now? You know, it's uh, you know, I've been doing this for a while, and um, you know, it's um, you know, there's there's times where you 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 see guys you know playing and or or you know as we talked you know pressing you know obviously trying to. To do you know, too much, uh, we try to simplify communication. Try to um, you know make sure that uh, you were doing things that, that guys have shown you know throughout throughout that work to to you know be consistent and uh, to be able to translate um, you know and that's you will continue to evaluate that and you know I, I definitely know what it takes to win games. I know what it takes to uh, uh, for for a team to go out there and, and be able to to execute and play at a high level and uh, you know we all have to do a better job of. Um, you know we'll, uh, what we're doing, you know, throughout the course of the week, and you know, I've just had to challenge the players, challenge the coaches, right? Because we can't continue to to come into games and then see things that that absolutely are not a part of of what we and who we are, you know, show up. And uh, you know, I, so we all have to prepare better, and we all got to make sure that. Uh, um, you know, we get to game day that it, it is our best foot forward, and you know these guys. I mean, they haven't stopped working. I mean, I, I, I mean, you guys are at practice. I mean, it's you know, they 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 do work. You know, obviously the the 
the transit the transition to to the game day um, you know we've got to we got to do a better job of making sure that you know whether it's a communication whether it's the uh, the understanding the reaction and then you know just being confident in the moment and go making a play I mean I that shows up with you know with missed opportunities uh, and you know that that obviously we got we have to be we have to be better in that situation we'll stay over there for Ira. You guys, obviously, you mentioned the drop passes, um, but to have 67 yards in the in a half, um, have you ever had an offense that struggled like this to, to do much of anything? Um, I say, have I ever? Um, sure, probably some, probably some point. Um, you know, but yeah, it wasn't. I mean, obviously, we did not. You know, you turn the ball over a couple times. You, I mean, the turnovers matter. You turn the ball over on the second play of the game. Um, that's a that's a big play. We have the interception. Um, you got pressure. Arm got hit. You know, had a, had an opportunity on the plate, um, but you know when you have those things and you have you know, a couple big drops and in, in moments, I mean that kills drives pretty quick. And uh, you know, we we thought we did a good job coming out in the third quarter and you know being able to hit the explosive play. I thought we moved the ball there in the second half, uh, but we got to finish drives and we got to eliminate you know eliminate mistakes that, that put us in uh, um, you know challenging situations because of TFLs because of uh, pressures um, and. You know, I mean, obviously, it's it, like I said, it's all of us. So, Coach, it's clear to hear the disappointment in your voice. I'm just wondering your message to the team uh, at halftime when you guys were down 10 points, and also your message to the team uh, after the game right now. Yeah, just at, you know, at halftime, just you, you have to go play the you have to go play the next play, and you know, you get caught up. You know, looking at a scoreboard, you get caught up on, you know, I mean, there was no there's no secret. The offense you know, struggled in the first half. Um, but you know, even with that, there's games where that you know one side of a ball might struggle, and you know we've got to have each other's back, and we got to make sure that we're responding and controlling the things that we can control um, you know, in those situations. And you know that's that was my message to them is that you know, it didn't matter offense, defense, especially we needed we need to be able to go out there. We got got to have the game changing you know plays, and um, whether it's defensively, you know, it's great you know seeing the interception um, that we got, uh, but you know we also had. Is it, you know, three turnovers, you know, you know, there, um, you know, missed opportunities, you know, there, and uh, um, and then obviously some critical mistakes that, that you know, we've got to get corrected. And so, um, you know, there after after the game, I, you know, I challenge, I, I, you know, I challenge all of us, you know, the, you know, the things that we're doing, they have to translate to the game. And the things that we're, we're being asked to do, the things that, that, that I know we can do, you know, has to translate to the game. And, um, you know, we're going to continue to evaluate that on in every aspect. I mean, we played three games. We haven't won any of them. So, you know, everything's under evaluation. And, you know, everything is going to be continued to um, – you know, to look at whether it's your scheme, whether it's uh, your personnel, you know, all, all of it. And we've got to go, you know, we've got to go take positive steps and it's got to show up on game day and uh, we've got to go put this, this team in a position to win games. And cause I absolutely believe that it can. I know the, the, the offensive problems kind of are go beyond DJ, but do you ever consider or do you consider going forward Brock just to see if Brock can, can bring a spark and maybe change some things with everyone? You know, I mean, ultimately, it's you know when we, we go through we go through a lot of a lot of work and um, the things that we're doing. I got a lot of confidence in in you know the guys that are in that quarterback room, but also you know I mean you know it we've got to be able to help the guy you know out there as well. And I don't I mean if you throw a ball and it hits somebody in the hands and you know we've got to be able to, to catch it or making right read and being able to try to put the ball in 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 uh, where it's supposed to be. Uh, you know we all got we all have have challenges. It's easy to point to one person and say, well, uh, this, this has to be better. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, uh, we all have to be better. And we're always, always evaluating every part of it. And that's, you know, the way that we work in practice, the things that we do. Um, but, you know, we've got we to gotta make sure that we're helping, you know, helping each other go out there and, and play to the best, that we, the best ability that we can. On that subject, Mike, how much would it help maybe the running game as a whole to have a quarterback that was more of a mobile threat? And then also the second part, uh, I guess explain the ra if you could explain the rationale for going for two after the touchdown. Okay, um, you know obviously you know, the quarterback as a, as a as a run threat, um, you know, is, is something that you know we we always you know look at uh, you know if we get opportunities to be able to do you know take a little bit of pressure off. Um, you know, today there was there was times that 
you know, they they were you know, bringing all out pressures and and being able to try to count. You know, we worked to get the ball out on the perimeter and you know missing a block, missing missing a uh, uh, you know an opportunity. You know, those are things that we got to be better at. And uh, you know, obviously the quarterback the quarterback run game. Um, you know. We've had a quarterback here the last few years that was a, a, a real reactionary runner, uh, you know, and keeping plays alive and things that happen. But uh, um, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it's always it's always a part of, of you know what we what we look at, how we evaluate it, um, and the best ways to be able to attack. But um, you know, and then for the rationale for going for two, um, you know, when you're in in that situation, you you know, obviously we're playing to to go win the game, and uh, you know that's you know you're down 11. I mean, that's uh, an opportunity to. Um, to get the two-point conversion and your touchdown field goal with an extra point to win. You get, if you don't get it, and then you have to go for uh, you know, two-point conversion, you know, twice. Um, you know, look statistically in the history of you know this game. I mean, it's going to be you know at to a little bit above you know 50% of, of uh, two-point conversions. I mean, I felt good about um, you know what it, I felt good about you know the, the call that we had. Obviously. Uh, um, it didn't play out the way that uh, that we were hoping, and we, you know, we got stopped, um, um, you know, short. But you know, we scored a touchdown, and the thought was to go for two. I mean, we're not, but we weren't trying to play just to, all right. Well, here if we get in the situation, we're going to tie it up with two scores. I mean, you go to, go to play to win it, and so um, you know, I'd, I'd still do it again. If it's down 11, you go for two. You're you're down nine. Go goal, touchdown, you win. I know you, you lost Jeremiah before the, the BC game. You lost Darius today. I guess, I, I don't know if, if that explains kind of what, I know you thought the offensive line was going to be a real strength of this team. What has not been working about that unit? Do you think they've been missing Alex on game days? Obviously, last time you don't have Coach Atkins on a game day. Do you think there's something not connecting? What has been the, the disconnect there? Well, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, different guys, different positions. Uh, you know we've got to we've got to do a do a better job of you know, trusting our eyes technique. Um, you know the, the fundamental you know elements, especially guys that you know, maybe haven't played as much. Um, but you know obviously we're not we're not playing to to the standard of what I believe that that uh, we're capable of. And you know we all we all get to to, to look at that. I mean it's the position I'm putting those guys in. You know, obviously the things we're asking them to do. Um, you know, I mean, I do believe in that in that group. I believe in the depth that we have. I believe in what those guys, um, you know, can accomplish. But uh, you've got to we've got to do a better job of being able to for that to be able to translate, you know, consistently throughout the course of the game. Uh, you know, and when you face, when you have injuries, you know, it's it is you know a lot of moving pieces, and um, you know, that's part of this game. It's part of what it what it is. Um, you know, obviously. Uh, you know, you know, Alex has a tremendous presence. Uh, you know, and uh, as as a leader, as an offensive coordinator, and um, an O line coach, and so. Uh, but I think you know, Gabe has uh, Gabe has done a really good job of uh, you know, you know, being able to work with those guys throughout the, the uh, um, you know, this this time and you know, kind of unfortunate you know situation. But um, you know, at the end of the day, we got to be able to take the things that we're doing and be confident in that you know, in the moment there uh, you know on game day. Is the amount of touches the running backs have, have had on the ground in the last couple of weeks a matter of game flow, what defenses are doing, just uh, efficiency? Yeah, I mean, some of it's but both. I mean, you know, we had a plan to, to work to try to try to you know, be good in the run game, to be, be able to run the football, to be able to have touches. Um, you know, and teams sometimes, I mean, they did a good job in their pressure. I mean, there was zero blitz in us coming off both edges. You know, you don't have enough hats to block, you know, what it is. You've got to, you know, be able to take things on the perimeter. You got to be able to, you know, um, you know, get the ball out, um, you know, in some of those situations. So, you know, when we did that, we were not, not as productive in our, um, you know, for whatever reason. You know, that was not. Uh, we d we didn't make them pay when it came to that. And, uh, you know, I thought there was there were some good elements in the, in in what we did in the run games from time to time. But, uh, you know, obviously we got to be able to to be better in those moments. And, you know. Coach, through three games, have you been satisfied with the team's body language and their emotional response? Well, I mean, yeah, that's one thing I, you continue to challenge. I mean, I know, you know throughout the, the, you know, anytime you don't have success, um, you know, you look to, you know, are they willing to work? Are they, are they coming? You know, what's the mindset? What's the attitude? How are they in meetings? How are their eyes? Um, and that, you know, that, that's that's not changed in my in, in my perspective. And, you know, I'm I'm, I'm around these guys every single day. Um, you know. I mean, it's. Do I think there's times that that 
we get tight as a team, yes. I, and that's something that, you know, I mean, I try to emphasize, try to create, you know, um, you know, when things didn't go, didn't go well, I mean, that's, those, those are times you got to rise yourself up to, you know, to um, go in and, you know, I say overachieving, but just achieving to the best of your ability to go make that play, to be able to be the, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the spark or, or the, the, you know, the, the ignition to the, to the flip of, of momentum and, and all this, because I tell it to teams all the time, momentum takes one play. I mean, that's it. That's all it takes to change it. And, um, you know, we just, you know, obviously have had some, some opportunities that, uh, uh, you know, that we needed to, to respond in those situations. And, but, I mean, I think from their, their attitude, their approach, I mean, even there in the locker room, we're all disappointed. Um, but, uh, you know, as we continue to work and continue to pour into each other and the opportunity we have. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Attention.